Good morning guys. We just got to Tybee Beach, which is a half an hour from where we're staying. And we just parked, so we're gonna go have a good day. Summertime day, living in a day. Dream, feeling like I'm wanting. No one, look at my new painting. Color never drink. I had breakfast. It was really, really good. We had it at the bref breakfast club. I'm walking to our beach towel because I'm going to put some sunscreen on and tan. Grammy and my mom are going to the bathroom right now. So, yeah, it is so pretty here. I love it. I'm trying to go find a drink. I'm going to talk fast because I hate walking in public when I'm by myself. All these places that I've never known. Looking for a place that they can call their own. I don't need one. Yeah, it's like. Is there Alright, hi guys. Well, I can't even see the screen, so I don't even know if you can see me, but. Oh, wait, this is closed. Hold on. What the heck? I just wanted to go eat at Spanky's, I think it was called. It was really good. I had a Caesar salad. Grammy and mom are shopping, so they're doing that while I'm just lying on the beach. It feels like 100 degrees, but it's actually 90 degrees, so that's good. Hi, Steven. Hi, Steven. Hi, so I am back in probably two hours since you guys have seen me. I fell asleep. I was really, really, really dehydrated. And we were laying out in 100 degree weather. Well, it felt like 100 degree weather. We were literally probably about six hours, I think it was. I don't know. It was really, really long. And I was just really dehydrated. So, yeah, I did not feel good at all. Almost seven now, which is kind of insane. And kind of like slept for two hours, which is kind of disappointing. But at the same time, I really needed it. Just chilling back at the house and everything. And now we're just all getting ready for... Oh no, this is too light, I think. I think that's fine. And the lighting is better when I turn on this other switch. But the problem is that it has this fan, so I can't vlog because it would be really loud and really annoying. So we're just gonna roll with it. But so now we are going out to eat at Paula Deen's restaurant. It is like right on... I did not call ahead for the outdoor seating, so I probably should go do that. Hi, right. I, I just called ahead um, for the call ahead seating. Find it, and I will put down that you want to sit outside. Great, thank you. Anyways, today was just a really hot day. I'm not complaining, honestly. I'm not complaining. Back at home, it is so it's disgusting at home. 70 something degrees and rainy in Pennsylvania right now, so that's why it was kind of just really aggressively hot yeah i didn't get to really vlog a whole lot when you're at the beach it's really hard to vlog because it's like what do you vlog if you're just laying there for hours i don't know like there's only so much that you can vlog so sorry that it wasn't all that you guys hoped and dreamed for I vlogged at the beach a couple times before and it's it's the same every single time it's really hard to vlog at the beach never talk when i'm contouring my face it's really hard. and we all love holiday we well before her whole shabam thing i used to watch paula Deen all the time on the cooking channel that's probably my go-to here's a little tidbit of my life my go-to channel to watch on the tv is either cooking or hgtv definitely cooking over hgtv though i go in phases honestly but right now it's cooking i mean obviously paula Deen is not gonna be there but it's still fun to go to her restaurant and have her food so i don't really know what else to talk about i just wanted to catch you guys up because I feel like I haven't been able to really come on here. I can tell when a vlog is going downhill when I like don't talk a whole lot. <laughs> I'm trying not to make that vlog go downhill. That tomorrow we are going to Savannah, Georgia. Walk around shop and like sightsee, which is really fun because it's not, so, I don't think it's supposed to be as hot as it was today, but it's still supposed to be hot. I really love sightseeing. Like my favorite thing in the world when I'm traveling is none of the stuff that is like expensive and like pricey to even get in. Like I honestly don't need that. This mirror is making a glare on my face. I don't need that. I just love going places and like going to the free spots and just like having fun. I don't know. I just like sightseeing. I think that's just who I am. It's, it's free. So, oh, that is... But I'm not a big fan of the people that like to spend tons of money when they're traveling because it's just not my vibe. Everyone has like their own thing, but I just don't like spending a ton of money when I'm traveling. So I was at the beach and I think I'm going to replay it because 
right here. Oh wait, this is closed, hold on. This happens to me every single time I go to the beach because I get sand on my camera and then I try opening my vlog camera, but sand gets stuck. I don't even know how to, spell. like the thing that closes over the lens, stuck in there and then it doesn't clo close all the way when I'm opening the vlog or like when I'm talking to the vlog or something, if that makes any sense. So then I push it up. Well, this time I pushed it up because I was like, whatever, because I was really hot and tired and it got stuck. And like, usually if it gets stuck, I can get it undone like really, really fast. Like guys, I've been vlogging for like three years now. I know the tips and tricks. Like not this specific camera, but like this camera for three years. So I know the tips and tricks of it. So back here and I tried fixing it because it was still like up, like the bottom thing that closes, like closed up, but then the top one that closes didn't go up. I don't know how to explain it. And I just used tweezers and it's all good now. So this vlog will proceed. I have broke my vlog camera. Well, I haven't broke my vlog camera. Other people sometimes have broken my vlog cameras. No names. You know who you are. And so I got the plan that like you pay up front and then as many times as you break it, it doesn't like cost any more money. So we're gonna go change. I'll see you guys in a second. And the weather's getting colder <laughs> Grammy's gonna eat a fried green potato tomato. Okay, hey, eat it. Just eat it and tell us how it is. It's so hot though. <laughs> <laughs> Pick it into like a time portal, it looks. <laughs> yeah. It's good. Okay. I promise. I've never had this before. I've, have I had a fried green? Shut your eyes and it will be grandma. Shut your eyes. Okay. Mm. Mm. I can go in the moment. Mm. Okay, I want to try. Mm. It's very good. Mm. <laughs> Stop. Right. That's actually good. You don't even taste the tomato. Yeah. It's actually a tomato. Yeah. It's mm. a green fried tomato. Mm. Well, I did, but it didn't taste like it. That's very good. I bet if you're going to eat a fried green tomato, this is probably one of the best places to try it. Wow, look at this food. Holy moly. At this creme brulee. I have cash lodge. Can you go have Cheesecake. Mom and I are going to eat this. Can we go up there? <laughs> <laughs> Restaurant was definitely 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. Sliding is super bad, but it was really, really good. Definitely come and check it out if you are in the area. Paula Dean comes. Apparently, she comes like every single month and does book signing. So we we're shopping at Walmart because sometimes, well, first of all, we're really, really full, so we really want to walk around. There might be like some good Savannah, Georgia merch. We're gonna go check it out. This is the only section that has Savannah stuff. All larges and extra larges. All right, well that was a fail. There was absolutely nothing. And you're not here, wish I never had to see that.